Black Greek letter sororities and fraternities were founded to unite African Americans for the betterment of their community. Being a part of a sorority allows women the opportunity to take part in community service initiatives, scholarship opportunities, and unite in a bond of sisterhood that lasts forever. The positive effects of joining a sorority can leave a lasting impact on a woman's life. The benefits of joining a sorority, particularly a black Greek letter organization, really are a little bit different than for a white sorority, for example. Sororities can be very social in terms of involvement, but for our organizations, we're really involved not only in social activities, in terms of understanding each other and getting to know each other, but really in what we can do to try and empower our communities. As young college women on our campuses, our communities are instilling in us education, life skills, work habits, and so it's our duty to give back to our communities. So we put on community service projects, whether that's collaborating with a local organization or even a local alumni chapter. In 1913, 22 young women from Howard University sought to form an organization rooted in service that would have a positive impact on the African American community. Their first service was participating in the Women's Suffrage March that same year. The bravery of these women helped pave the way for the rights and equality women enjoy today. So it was a time of unrest, and women were tired of being so-called free, but they didn't have freedom, you see. They didn't have the freedom that was guaranteed them they should have had. And so the men had the freedom, but the women didn't have the freedom. So the march for the suffragettes was very key in our history. Two founders of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated created a legacy of social action that the sorority continues to uphold today. Members of the sorority believe that they are much more than the colors and letters they wear. With that in mind, Deltas use the power in their individual and collective voice to advance the communities in which they live, work, and serve. Delta Sigma Theta is a sorority. It is a nonprofit organization that really is focused on the development of its members and community service throughout the world because we're an international organization. We have about 300,000 members who have been initiated into the organization since its founding in 1913. We currently have about 70,000 active members in Delta. We have over 900 chapters in the United States and internationally. We had 22 founders when we founded Delta Sigma Theta Sorority at Howard University in 1913. They belonged to another organization. They were restless people, and they wanted a name that when you looked at it, it was really a Greek name. So they came up with Delta Sigma Theta. One of the suffragettes came to the campus a few weeks before and talked to them about a great march going to happen in Washington, D.C. And a lot of things were happening in Washington at the time. And this great feminist came in and stirred them up and they said, oh, we want to go downtown in Washington to be in that march too. Here we were, 22 making up that group of 5,000 in that march. Very, very key in history. We actually have five point programmatic thrusts that we depend on and focus on and have since about the 70s or 80s. Economic development is important to us. Educational development, physical and mental health are critical, especially in terms of today's environment. International awareness is another area where we have a lot of involvement and a lot of concern. Social action is another area where we're very important and very much involved. We take those five areas and really focus our initiatives on those. We are, as a matter of fact, a member of the UN, one of the few national organizations that are nonprofits that have NGO status, which is a status in the UN. And we go every year to the United Nations and present programs and put on programs. Delta Sigma Theta also has charitable partners. We think that's important to collaborate in the community. We work with St. Jude. We work with the Heart Association. We work with the Sisters Network, which focuses on cancer issues for women. We've worked with UNICEF in terms of our international awareness and try to make sure that we take those partners and continue to raise funds for them to make sure that they are strong in terms of what they're doing. Delta Sigma Theta has a vision that we really focus on during this term of office. Join our sisterhood, power in our voice, service in our heart. So first of all, the sisterhood and making sure the sisterhood is strong is very important to us. Power in our voice happens in a lot of ways. A lot of it happens with our five-point programmatic thrust. The fact that we help each other in supporting it. The fact that we're really involved in social action. The fact that we take our voice and make that the voice of others is a part of the power in our voice. Service in our heart really has to do what happens in our communities. 
We do community service. We have over 100,000 hours of community service that we've done in the past two years. In terms of scholarships, Delta Sigma Theta gives hundreds and thousands of dollars in scholarships on a regular basis in the community. We try to do over half a million dollars in scholarships nationwide every year to support the community to make sure that those young people are grown and are strong, that they in fact have a good education so that they can have the power in their voice they need to have in the communities. It is our duty as young members of our organization to take on the issues that affect us today because women in Delta Sigma Theta did that before us. And now as the generations change and times change, only we know what is affecting us and only we can do the work to fix those problems. To learn more about Delta Sigma Theta sorority, visit deltasigmatheta.org.